Hello, ladies and gentlemen, or whoever's watching this. My name is Robert McIntosh, and I'm here to display my file integrity monitor, or um, an FIM, which basically it checks the hashes of each file that you have in a target folder and um, stores them in a baseline.txt folder or whatever else you would like to call it. Here's an example of the stored baseline that I have right here, which I have the file path saved and the hash is saved. And it, whenever you want to um, verify the integrity of the folders that you have, you compare the hashes at the current moment to the saved baseline that you had at a previous moment. So um, let me go ahead and change to my desktop. Oops, I can't type CD desktop and change to my PowerShell folder on my desktop. So now we go, we're here right now, and I'll go ahead and give you guys an example of this code right here. So right now I have it either enter one or two. So we can go ahead and click on one to collect a new baseline, which is, I've already shown you guys, which is these. I'm using a SHA-256 algorithm to save the baseline. Um, and then now if we go ahead and run this one more time and click on number two, obviously there's no file problems because I haven't changed these files at all. But say I um, move file four out of the folder or like which would just be deleting it and say I want to change the contents of this file right here to add two more exclamation points and you know maybe you want to add a whole new file as well um, just mash my keyboard there we go um, I can go ahead and run this again and click on number two and now as we can see right here I have it um, it tells us everything that's happened to this entire target folder right here. So we've got file two has been changed. We've got um, the keyboard mash file has been created and then file four has been deleted or moved, but it's also, it's deleted out of the folder pretty much since it's non-existent in there. So that basically goes ahead and tells us what has happened. And if we go ahead and change these back in, say I move file four back in, delete the the button mash.txt but you know say I don't want to um, I don't want to change file 2 back I can go ahead and run this again and it'll just go go ahead and give me that one file 2 error which is just it's been changed and then um, I can run this one more time and save a new baseline so now the file 2 is the new baseline and if I run this again obviously we are gonna have no file problems so basically what the code is doing is I have the user enter in either one or two to um, to <laughs> collect new baseline or monitor files from the existing baseline and and then um, I go ahead and define two functions um, this comment right here was me trying to um, va validify user input but I ended up um, commenting it out because I did it in a different way which I'll show you in a second but right here um, I've got me defining the function calculate hash which um, is a function that takes a file path parameter and calculates the SHA-256 algorithm for the file right here. Um, I'm just really going to be reading off a lot of my comments just because um, it'll make it a little bit easier. The next function right here removes the baseline, the previously saved baseline. So if I want to, if I want to make a new baseline of the file or uh, the target folder, it will remove the one that we don't want and save the new one. Um, and then right here this is checking validity so if user entry is equal to one which would be um, collecting a new baseline you're going to go ahead and remove the previous baseline if it exists or if it doesn't I mean it'll just it'll make sure no baseline exists if you want to save a new one it will collect the files in the target folder um, and then this for each loop right here is calculating the baseline hatches for each file and saving them to baseline.txt right here and then um, after that occurs for each file in the file folder, it writes host new baseline saved in a pretty green text. Um, wait, do I actually have that working? Um, hang on. <laughs> yeah, there we go. There's an example. It's thundering outside. Okay, so anyways, that's um, what occurs whenever you press one on the keyboard. And then, so if user entry equals two, we go ahead and define a variable called problem as zero, which further down here, if problem still equals zero after going through this else if statement and for each loop, 
will write out no file problems but obviously if it goes through and detects an error I change the variable problem to one like right here or right here but anyways going on after defining problem we define a new dictionary um, which is empty at the current moment and we load the path and the hash from baseline.txt the saved ones that we already have <sighs> After that, we go ahead and split the paths and hashes and save them into the dictionary. Um, so we have the file, hash, and path right here and here saved into different splits, you could say. Um, and then after that, we collect the files in the target folder again. Um, well, yeah, again, because they're not the saved ones. We're collecting the new ones at the current moment. And then after this, we go ahead and loop through each if statement for each file in the target folder. So since we have four files in the target folder, we're going to go ahead and loop through this four times. So this calculates the hash for the current file that we're looping through right now. And then um, next, if the hash path equals a null, which is like if it um, if it's not a path that's saved in the baseline.txt, it will go ahead and um, warn us that a new file in the target folder has been created and then foreground color red, and then we go ahead and change problem variable to one. Next, we have, a, um, we have an else if statement um, where it checks for changes if the hash saved in the dictionary is not equal to the hash we just calculated. If there was an error, um, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, if the hash is not, that the hash path is not equal to the hash hash, we're going to say the hash path has changed. Foreground color red, problem one. Um, and we go ahead and exit out of the this for each loop right here yeah right there and then um, for the next one I made a whole different for each loop um, using keys and this one checks if the dictionary or it checks paths in the dictionary and throws an error if the dictionary paths are not equal to the paths we generated which is basically saying that um, if a file is deleted it's gonna warn us which right host the key of the current key in the for each loop that we're on has been deleted if it is not detected foreground color red problem equals one and then here we go um, or here is the if statement for the variable problem if it equals zero it'll go ahead and print out no file problems and then obviously if it equals one it's not gonna print this out it's gonna print whichever um, problem we've identified up here and then last thing um, checking user entry um, just another else statement because we really just have two we really just have two big if else if and another else else statement it's if it's the user's entry is not one or two it's just gonna break from the script and stop running and that is the file integrity monitor that I've been working on um, thank you for watching <laughs>